Okay, so another example. So this is from your review worksheet, 3x squared plus 24x plus 45. First thing I'm going to do is see if I can factor out a greatest common factor. 3, 24, and 45, since it's already set equal to 0. Those are all 3 divisible by 3. So I'm, I'm going to factor out a 3 and bring my 3 out front. Then I'm left with x squared, divide that by 3, plus divide by 3, 8x, divide by 3, 15. And now it makes it a simple factoring problem. Set it up. You can use your x method. You have a 1 here, a 15 here. 1 times 15 is 15. It has to add up to 8. So I need factors of 15 that add to 8. So I have 1 and 15, 3 and 5. And there they are. 5 plus 3 is 8. So I have plus 5 plus 3. equals 0. Then I'm going to go ahead and set it up. What do these have to equal in order for them to equal 0? This does not have an x with it, so I'm not going to use that one. So I have x plus 5 equals 0, and I have x plus 3 equals 0. Solve for x, subtract 5, cancels. I have x equals negative 5, subtract 3, x equals negative 3. Those are your two answers. They can be written two different ways. Those are the zeros, the solutions, the roots. So I have negative 5, 0, and I have negative 3, 0, or just x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 5.